look at the board every time just to make sure it might bite him or him not him I think I have these in there but I don't know I'm Alicia Wheeler. I have been married to Jacob since October of 2017. Jacob loves fishing. There's nothing that makes him happier in the world. That's who he is. It consumes him, which is a great thing because that's why he's so good at what he does. I don't know anyone in the world that thinks about fishing more than he does. It's a classic, everybody's going. Everybody going to be there, the last one, potentially. Everything he does is so calculated. He's so particular. Then he gets off of the boat, and it is like total chaos. I spent like hours last night, like just painting stupid stuff up and putting combinations, like making it black. I gotta show you guys my custom one that I made last night. Clothes are everywhere, laundry's everywhere, but then he's rigging tackle and it's like the perfect knot on the perfect rod with the perfect bait and everything is just super, super precise. Bing, that sucker A. I'm proud of him. Custom color by Wheeler. I took a dang chartreuse one, a little black, everything else. That one right there, ding. The unicorn booties. How many? She likes them. She told me. She told you this <laughs> in your dreams. This is what happens when you have a girl. Got all the stuff I need, all the tackle. Check, 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 check. Next stop, Knoxville, Tennessee. The Bassmaster Classic is huge. This is like his greatest dream would be to win this tournament. And he has a chance to do it this year. Dude, they're gonna be biting. They're gonna bite. They're gonna bite like unbelievable. Loudon, first off, is about 50-ish miles long. Teleco's another like 30 mile long lake with tributaries and everything else off of it. So there's a lot of water to cover in three and a half days. That's for sure. Let's start it. I'll definitely remember this dock. Has a couple little Christmas trees somebody tied up. For me, one of the best things to do, say if you're practicing for an event or just going out there trying to learn something new, is to cover a lot of water. You know, obviously when you get bit, you try to run that, but I've been throwing a lot of different baits. You're trying to get a gauge on what's going on. And sometimes the best thing to do is just put the troll motor down and kick her on high. Small now. Okay, they gotta be 18 inches long. We're coming back to him. Those are the ones you want right there. You catch five of those a day. Come out here hoisting that trophy. Dude, they're biting. <laughs> the suckers are biting. Oh gosh, darn it. Unbelievable. His practice schedule for any event is usually pretty much the same. Rain or shine, whether it's warm or cold, and he's out all day, literally until the last minute that he is able to be. You know, you gotta keep going no matter what, though. That's the thing. It's a definitely a mental challenge. You get out here on the water and you fish day like a dark, especially when it's cold, rainy, windy, but you just gotta keep going. Day three of practice, you can tell it's a completely different day. You know, first couple days it rained sideways. Today, it's sunny, nice, got the, the Magellan Sun shirt on, and a lot of times in the springtime, this is the conditions you want to set up you know, for the tournament. It's gonna make it to where some new fish are pulling in. We had some big rains now. The only thing is, the water's gotten even more muddy. Ultimately, that warmer weather, though, should make it to where the tournament's pretty dang good. Tell you what, it's not been the easiest practice, 
but we have one more chance at it on Wednesday, and that's gonna be the most important. Alicia came in just to bring our jersey. So we, we fish, Major League Fishing, the Pro Tour on Major League Fishing, but bass, you have to have a bass patch on, so we all have to have our bass jerseys. So Alicia drove an hour and a half to bring our jerseys, so. Bought steaks, we bought brats, we bought burgers. And so the grill caught on fire while we were cooking the brats. A <laughs> hundred dollars of steaks, and we're gonna cook them in the oven. <laughs> you better eat them. Oh, we're going to. The plan is when Olivia gets old enough, we bring Alicia on the road and she'll cook for us. A little salt, a little pepper, fix about eight. Off our ice, I'm gonna grab one of these. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we on a bag. We on a fat bag right there. Absolutely. When Jacob comes off the water, I think he does a good job acting like he's relaxed, but I don't truly think he ever does let it go and just leave it for the day, especially not the week of the classic. You're not big on colors? Well, I mean, I'm big on colors, but I like red. You like that color, red? Look, I like red, dude. Red, not orange. Red, not orange, red. I like red. it. Like that? Red, yeah. Like that color. Me yeah. too. You don't know your colors? Hey, that's red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. You son of a All right, boys, don't worry about that. Oh, don't, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Here's the thing. In the spring, the fish are seeking out crawfish. Red and orange, yeah. both, they stand out. And there is no mistake, and that's a crawdad in, in the fish's mind. How many red crawdads have you seen around the house, around here? Well, around here, not many, but out west, where I'm from, all the time. Yeah. And down in Louisiana, those type of crawfish, when the water gets warm, they turn that bright red. Not orange, but red. It, it boils down to the color of the water, which one shows up the yeah. best. I would agree. Oh, my God. You, uh, you, you throw your orange. Oh, man. Uh, Me and you will throw what, red. What you doing, man? Oh gosh. This is Ted. We all came up with this before we started practice. Whoever catches the smallest bag or basically Small bet limit. smallest limits between the three of us, we gotta take him day two. Ted gets a ride with us. It's a bad classic. classic. <laughs> Ted's not too aerodynamic. No. <laughs> Ted is not too aerodynamic. sort of last day of practice. It's a shorter day, it's sort of a practice ride through. We haven't been on the lake for the last two days. A lot could have changed. Water's gone up, water's gone down. Rain, wind, weather. So the fish could be moving around quite a bit. Look out for this guy, the youngest angler ever to win the Forest Book oh, Cup on the first two Elite Series yeah. events. He finished Jacob. So we got a little bit of an idol. Downtown Knoxville. It's a pretty dang setup, man. Start to get those classic chills. It gets more real and real every day. And then you get to this last day of practice. And you just get to the city, get to see the, the stage. Really want this one right here. Water's warmed up like six degrees. So, so it's like a completely different lake. Heck yeah, I'm the kind you need. Fat, chunky. You know, no matter how bad it gets on the water, <laughs> this is like my dream. You know, to be out here on the water, being able to fish professionally for a living, this is what I, I would be doing, you know, on my off time, you know, if I had to work a nine to five. And so, I, I don't ever take that for granted. But it would be really nice to win this tournament. I'll meet you in the lobby and then I'll help you guys bring all this stuff in. Okay, love you, dog. bye. The wifey. The wifey. She's about to roll up with the whole fam. So, I'm getting ready to go to the banquet tonight. Um, sort of a cool deal. Jacob's life has changed a lot in the last seven weeks. It's in seven weeks of him being a dad. So now instead of 
worrying about running out and getting fishing tackle from the car. It's like, go grab my diaper bag and all the crap for our daughter. Real work right there. Fisherman by day, bellman by evening. That's who I am. All right, we just pulled up here to the Night of Champions, and this dinner is something really special. Obviously, qualifying for every classic, you know, you want to be, you're pretty thankful for it. And for me, I don't want to take that for granted. And the Night of Champions is basically just taking the time to celebrate the anglers. Media day is tomorrow, and then Friday will be the start of the tournament. So this is a little bit of time to sort of take a breather and just relax and hang out with our friends. No, ladies first. Ladies first, go ahead. Here, I'm good, I'll wait. I'm gonna tell you this though, that teddy bear is not coming home with us. What? We have a dang teddy bear. 5'2". He's like 5'2". Five, 5'2". Five foot tall teddy bear, that's the deal. So it's, it's myself, it's Adrian Avina, it's Mark Daniels, and now Edwin Ebers. And maybe Wiggins, I don't know. Are you in or are you out? Now it's fun. You, I guess I'm gonna have to strap you. I think I'm gonna ride down the lake like this. That's perfect. Hold on, I gotta tell it. All right, everybody, we're here at Media Day getting ready to wrap everything up. Heading to the Academy booth here at the Expo to talk a little bit about my new rod series that's coming out. Tomorrow, while I'm fishing, I have a few of my boat, of course. But the real reason for Media Day is, I don't even know this, I'm trying to recruit fishermen for Ted. The more people that are in this deal, the less chance I got I'm gonna have to have him on day number two. We got his little guy, Ted. Ted's ready to roll. All right, guys, we're here in the Academy booth. Day before the expo starts, day before the tournament starts. Oh, I'm getting excited, but I want to show you guys a sneak peek at what we're introducing right here at the Classic. Hey, those seconds right there. What's How up? You? How you doing? Jacob. Show me what you got going here. All right, so this is my new rod. There's four actions in this one right now. So actually right up here, we have a spinner rod, we have a seven foot medium, a seven foot medium heavy, and we got a seven three heavy. When I set out, well, I'm like, look, I'm gonna make six cues that you can do multiple different things. Looks good. Hopefully to catch a lot of fish. We're gonna find out tomorrow how good this sucker's body yeah. But that's the most important thing, isn't that it? Is a lot absolutely, of fish? that's the deal. Well, good luck, man. Yeah, Hopefully I appreciate it. smash them tomorrow. Hey, we're to catch a couple of days. Good luck. No doubt. Yeah. Thank you. So I hope when it's all said and done that all the preparation, all the time, all the energy, I really just hope it pays off and something big happens for him this week.